excited about that. And uh, I think we only have a hundred tickets left or so for Penn State, and we don't have many left for Wisconsin. So every one of these games is, uh, um, you know, getting closer and closer to sellout. So. I'm excited about that. I'm excited. People are excited to see Rutgers basketball live, you know, back in the in the rack. Um, and I thank you guys for that, too. And I thank you for coming. Um, you guys saw my team, you know, today uh, for the first time or some for the second or third time. You know, I really like this this group. Um, and stay healthy, obviously, all those things. But you know, some really good things happening here, and, and uh, we got a nice blend. They have the, the awesome chemistry, and um, you know, we got our obstacles as always. The league is is, is tremendously difficult. Um, we're playing one, two, and three. I think the first three games, so we played the best teams at a 14. But every team in this league is is really good, and uh, I'm excited. We had a great summer, by far our best spring summer. I'm thankful that students are back on campus. Thankful that the riot squad. We're gonna, you know, students are as excited as they as they can be. And uh, what I really want to do, though, our ticket office, they've done a great job. Joe Ralfinelli has been awesome um, working. Um, and so I wanted to give him him a shout out. As always, Greeny, some guys behind the scenes, my staff does a great job um, with 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 everything. And and I'm excited. My staff, um, Carl Hobbs. Um, I don't know if you guys know he was elected into the assistant coaches Hall of Fame. He's back. Brandon Knight will go into the Hall of Fame at Pittsburgh. I think it's next Friday. 22nd, so he's going into the Hall of Fame. T.J. Thompson, Steve Hain, who does everything for me, Mike Larkin over there uh, in the corner, uh, who keeps me organized and all the stuff. We have a new guy, Tom Barrett, over there. He's unbelievable with the analytics. He gives us a little different um, look at what our players are doing every single day. Stats everything. He's been unbelievable. He comes to us from Temple. He was a Fran Dumphy guy, so excited about that. And then Scott and Sass, our two GAs, do, do a lot of great things. So I'm excited my staff's back and Dave Van Dyke too and uh, Rich keeping guys healthy. We had Oscar out today. Oscar sprained his ankle, uh, but we've been pretty healthy and, and, you know, again, excited. Excited about my roster and uh, they're coachable. They play hard and, uh, you know, we got a lot of challenges, but I think we're ready for them. So let's open it up to you guys because you don't need to hear me. Steve, you seem very optimistic. Uh, how good can this team be and what can separate them from passing to that? Yeah, I mean, their chemistry has been awesome. So they, they work hard. Um, we've really grinded them. Today was one of our shorter practices, so we've been going along. Um, they come back the next day. They by far watch the most film of any group, and they're in the gym more than any group that I've had. So uh, this morning we had four guys up early and, and, and shooting, working. Um, they'll come back tonight. They're lifting right now. They'll eat and come back. Like They're into it. Um, they put the time into it. I think it's a nice blend. We have veteran guys, and then we have young guys that are hungry to play. You know, So it's been, it's been really uh, great. And you'll see different guys together with different guys all the time on campus. I love the fact that they're, they have some distractions, too, from basketball, which we didn't have at all last year. They go to football games. They're going to concert this weekend. They're, you know, they do a lot of different things, and they didn't have any of that last year. So it's, it's good. They're in the gym. They work hard. They watch their film. Then they go you know, out to eat, go to a concert, you know, do things that they're supposed to be doing. So um, I'm excited about the distractions, too, that they have. But, uh, yeah, I like we got gamers. I mean, Ron and Gio have – Played a lot of minutes. Caleb McConnell's been our most efficient player and all the stats and everything. Um, Cliff works harder than any big guy we've had ever here, probably. I don't know the past. You know, I only know my past. But if a big guy works harder than him, I'd be shocked. I love Ralph Ag has given us age and experience. He'll be one of our better defenders. He's led us in offensive rebounds, rebounding since we first started statting the first very first practice. So Ralph brought us some of that. Um, Andre Hyatt brings us experience. He can really shoot the ball. He's been around at a double-double in the NCAA tournament last year. He's really blended in nicely. And then, you know, I like our – they're not young. They're, they're, they're freshmen because of COVID, but they were here all last year. Dean's been great. Oscar's been great. Mawat has been our best defender with Jalen Miller. Um, so 
a lot of different pieces. Like, and I can move them around. I could today. I just made even teams, but I've gone big with lineups. I've gone experienced guys against younger guys. I've gone a bunch of wings, positionless guys with five positionless guys. I've, I've gone big with Ralph uh, at the four and Cliff at the five and Ron Harper at the three and Caleb at the two and Paul at the one, you know, so I'm able to do a lot of different things with this group, so I'm, I'm excited about that. Yeah, I'm just thankful. Come a long way, so thankful. But a lot of people, I mean, that's Pat Hobbs. Been, he's a great AD. He's, you know, he's been into it. Um, the marketing people, our staff too. But I go to the store now. People want to know, and I just tell them like, you got to get, you got to call because I don't know how many tickets are going to really be left, and they're going fast. Well, Penn State's going fast. Like you know, there won't be any for Wisconsin. You know, so um, you know, excited. That's our students, but that's the state of New Jersey. You know, and they couldn't come last year. So, and we're going to play a fun brand of basketball, and, and hopefully they're excited that. You know, these guys are back and, and, and playing, but, uh, yeah, I'm excited. To, you know, when I heard that today, I was excited. You know, that first game's going to be exciting, you know, getting these guys. And I know our team really missed the fans, as you can imagine. That's what you play. That's what you work so hard to do is play in front of, you know, students and, and, and your fans. So, excited. Good seeing you, too. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I love my team no matter where they're from. But you know, our, you know, Paul has been great, a Jersey guy, Cliff obviously, Ryan Harper. You know, those three guys and um, have been you know awesome. But I like Jaden Jones. I don't care where he's from too. He's six foot eight. He could really score. And Dean's from North Carolina. He's a freshman too. These guys are freshmen now because of COVID year. You know, Cliff's a freshman. You know, so you know, I really like I really like what they bring too. Uh, but this is a great state. We play a great brand of basketball. It, it is the best league in the country. I know every coach says that when they get up, but just go to the last four or five years. We've had the most NCAA bids our league by far. With 12 teams ranked last year out of 14, like him. I don't think that's ever – I don't think any league has ever had 12 teams, like almost their whole their whole 1 to – you know, 1 to 14 ranked. That's, like, impossible. And the two teams that weren't ranked were losing to ranked teams that, you know, they were pretty good too, you know. So those teams could beat anybody. So, um, you know, again, I always say this, you know, uh, Rutgers is, is a great university made up of all – students from all 50 states, all countries, you know, and uh, – you know, I love them if they're from New Jersey, but I love those guys that decide Caleb McConnell came from Florida, and I'm glad he's here, you know, and uh, um, so, you know, I'm excited about that too. But I think New Jersey understands we're, we're a good basketball team. We're a good program. We play in a great league. We're going to sell out games, you know, play in the most televised league in the country. So uh, it's, a good, it's a good place. And come here and get a great education too and be surrounded by good people. So that's... Yeah, I mean he will just because you know I think whenever somebody leaves, you you get more opportunity. But he's, you know, he's good. Enjoy him, enjoy him for thirty games. Hopefully more than that, guys. He's he's top shelf. He's as good an athlete as we've ever had here. He can block shots. His work ethic is off the charts. He's making fifteen footers now. His free throw percentage is. Um, much better. I mean, I think people don't realize how hard it is to come into the best league in the country as a freshman. Um, and he was also playing behind a four-year, you know, guy too. So, uh, man, he got injured. Like, so be healthy. He and Ralph, this has by far been my best five spot. And, you know, not even close, really, stat-wise. They can score. Um, they're really good passers. Um, he's just getting better and better, as you would expect with his experience and his maturity. And again, he's a dean's a student too, so I might might add he's a great student. So, yeah, he's going to have a really good year, and we should really enjoy him. Um, be as as impactful as a, a big guy as we've had here in, in a Rutgers uniform. Steve, what is your best spring? Yeah, you know what? They they just had a different kind of focus. You know, I think that 
you know, for Gio and for Ron, I think it was good the feedback they got. They came back, you know, really with some great feedback, and they they went about working to try to improve in some of those areas. And um, Caleb McConnell was healthy. It's his first off season. He's been healthy, so he's been with us all the time. Paul had a, a finger injury that he kind of got through, and he's shooting the ball really at a high level. And Paul's couple years under his belt now he's real mature he's a gamer you know Paul's good um, you know this group and then I think the guys we brought in really blended nicely like I told you they were the only two guys maybe I talked to in the portal that didn't start off the conversation with how many shots am I going to get how many starting you know am I going to start you know they didn't start off that way they started off with they wanted to go to grad school here, you know, and Andre started off with wants to finish his degree. He's got one more year and then go to grad school. And then they start off, they want to be part of a winning program, you know, so those guys really added some experience, but with some maturity. And then I think those young guys were, you know, they were good last year. They were chomping to play, but our veterans were just, a, you know, a little bit more experienced, a little bit better, as you can imagine. And now those guys are, are ready, but they're, they're excited about the, you know, the minutes that they could possibly have and, Jaden Jones gained 23 pounds. Like, I think his half a year helped him, too. You know, so it's, it's just a good group. And, and Gio's been a good leader. Paul's been a good leader. Caleb, you know, I think they've been through enough to really, you know, explain to the younger guys what, what, we, what we're about ready to um, – partake with this league and all the challenges that we have so um we did a lot of team stuff though but they they enjoyed each other and, and i enjoyed we enjoyed coaching them i think our staff did a great job this summer too helping them get better so i think that was a big part of it you know too did you mention paul i just follow up on that how has his game evolved I mean, I think every year his game has improved. So people in his first year, like he's gotten better defensively out of his shooting the ball as well as, you know, from deep. Um, he's just uh, – he's gotten bigger. He's gotten stronger. Um, he's making really good decisions. Uh, you know, again, um, I think he's just always up for that those challenges, you know. And uh, uh, he's way more comfortable on the court. Um you know, when you got a big point guard with size like that, it really who wants to pass the ball. It's really, you know, I think I think it's especially at that point guard position, and we really share the ball. Like our team passes the ball as well as we've ever passed it, making extra plays, making those extra passes, and guys are kind of starting to enjoy making the extra pass. So we talk about sharing the game all the time. We've we've talked about that for six years. This team truly shares the basketball, and so. We're hard to guard, you know, and that starts with Paul, starts with Gio, too. Um, you know, I think that kind of filters down to the rest of the, rest of the guys. Coach, you've got a scenario that you've spoken about getting to move on this season. How have you approached that this offseason? Yeah, we will 100% be better in that area. Yeah, we've already have. We're a better blockout team right now as we speak. We're bigger. Our length is bigger. We got better size. We added Ralph, who is our leading offensive rebounder, right off the bat in the preseason. So um, added another guy that could really go up there and grab offensive rebounds. Um, we just put, have put a huge emphasis on it, and uh, our guards are big. So and Paul's a good rebounder anyways. You know, Caleb's been statistically – our best rebounder. So it's been Cliff, it's been Ralph, it's been Caleb, you know, and, and uh, we all know Ron can rebound with, with, with anybody too. So we've added more Andre, a double-double in NCAA tournament game, so he's a real capable rebounder. But, um, yeah, I feel real good about it. But we've spent a lot of time and we've talked about it and we've watched film about it and they kind of understand that we got to go back to what we used to do and that was be a great rebounding team. You know? Yeah, J Jaden's going to be really good. He can really score, you know. But you know, like any freshman, he's playing against veterans every day. But he has days where he's, you know, he's really good. I mean, he can pass the ball. He's got great size. I mean, his stand still, he can shoot the ball as well. His stand still threes. He's as good as as good as anybody. But you know, there's always that learning curve. I mean, you don't go from high school to playing Purdue and not have a learning curve with that. And, and uh, but he's getting better and better, and the weight has helped him too. He's become more durable. People, yeah. people are buying tickets weeks and weeks in advance of games. I think that the messages they expect you guys to be really good. Yeah. Do you embrace that? Do you like the idea that this is no longer hoping to make the tournament? People are like, <laughs> yeah. First, I'm I'm just you know 
we always expected to win, and they did too. You know, now they're coming to our games. It's a great thing because they'll help us win now. That's why when you have people come to the games, actually, those expectations are always out there, whether they're at the game or not. You know, uh, you know. So I'm excited that they're going to be there and they're going to help us win the games. And, and um, you know, I look forward to going back to the day before people talking about games. And you know, that wasn't the case during COVID. You know, and you had none of that home court advantage. So, uh, you know, I've embraced the expectations since we've been there. Like, you know, our, our team is, we're trying to, you know, I have the shelves up in my office. You guys all know about that. That's what, you know, I had those there when we were picked 14th, you know. But, uh, you know, I think this team, you know, we're going to have some obstacles, obviously, because in a league like this, you're always going to have obstacles and we got to stay healthy. But they got some good, you know, they got some good fiber about them, and I and I really like that. And I know I can count on that fiber right now. In the past, I was hoping, I was hoping for some fiber and hoping this guy would step up. And that guy, these guys have have done it, and I think they've been on you know pretty good mission. So I'm excited about you know I've always had those expectations, anyways. I know our staff has, and I hope our players have those expectations. So. Um, we're going back to the spring and I mean, it, I thought very important, but, you know, understand the year before that, we couldn't do any of that. So you're really talking about going from stay away from each other, just work out, put your mask on, go to your room. Couldn't even have team meals together all last year. So, um, but yet you want your team to be real tight, and you want them to be real connected, and you can't do anything really fun with them. Um, I thought it was great. It took them away from basketball too. We worked hard. We got our workouts done, and then we went and did something else. But that's what this area brings. You know, a lot of different things that you can enjoy. You know, go into New York City, spend some time, go to the beach on the Jersey Shore. You know, uh, that's what the great part of New Jersey is. You're close to a lot of great experiences and. I think they had fun with that, you know, stuff, and, and, and obviously big difference from the year before when we were telling them to stay away from everybody and everything and their teammates and after practice was over, go your separate ways, you know. So, um, yeah, I do think they had a lot of fun because they couldn't do that, you know, all last summer. Mm. Take a couple more questions. Yeah, Steve, you mentioned that it was interesting. You said uh, guys you talked to in the portal, the first question he asked is about getting up shots. How do you sort of discern when you're looking at people how they're going to fit how important is that at this point? I mean, I, you know, Jerry, I've told you this many, like our locker room is so important to me. I don't think anyone, you know, understands that. You know, we have great kids, and then you have young kids that are working hard to get minutes too. You know, so um, it's a huge, it's always been of the most importance. You know, uh, a lot of teams want to stockpile, you know, whatever they consider talent or t five star or six star or eight star whatever you want to get you know like I'm trying to find guys that are going to fill in the needs that we we don't have and, and and try to fit you know with the personality of the team and um and when you start talking to kids you know that are leaving schools like they're you know there's a lot of different thoughts and there's a lot of things I'm always a good listener on those calls and you know, I knew we had five returning starters back. So if someone's a start, and it's going to be hard to start here. You know, if we if we had five leaving, then you know maybe that would be a little different conversation. But we had five returning starters, and I really like my young guys. So are you going to come in and work? You know, and and are you going to come in and earn your minutes? And that's what I kind of wanted to hear around the thing. And I'll play any role. And instead of hearing I got to play this position, I got to play that position. You know, like I don't know if you're going to play those positions here. You know, so. I'm a good listener. I always try to get good fits, and I want them to be fits for Rutgers University too, and I want to be fits academically. You know, just because a guy has this many stats doesn't mean, you know, he's going to be able to be plugged in and, and have those same stats, you know, at the next school. And we make a lot of phone calls too, so it's personality too fits. You you make a, a lot of phone calls. You, you you know you hear some things too maybe that you don't want to bring to your program. So take a final question. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's brought. He he said to me. He and Ralph both said like we will compete. So our competitiveness amongst the whole group of them has been unbelievable, you know. And he competes every day, you know. And 
I think he's brought a level two of maturity. Um, he wants to be here. He's close to home. He's excited about being around his family, his family getting to see him play. Um, the guys really like him. You know, he's got a nice personality, and, you know, he uh, has taken on our vocabulary with our, you know, the hardest thing for kids when they leave a program is how we teach and our cores and a lot of its vocabulary. Our screen coverages are called different things than theirs. So he, he's learning all those things, and uh, he's really a bright kid. You know, so he's fit in. He and Ralph have, you know, been really great. They, they really have. And excited to have them, you know, and uh, they're going to bring some good fiber, you know, to, to our program. And they're hungry, and they've played at good levels, and they've won. Um, you know, Ralph shot a huge percentage last year from the floor. I mean, he played a lot of minutes. Like, Ralph wants to win. Andre comes in here coming off an NCAA bid, so he's played on, you know, winning team, team in a program like that. Um, so, um, you know, they, they, they bring a lot to us, and they're not freshmen. They've been through some wars. Uh, any other? You guys good?